Hi guys, so first off, I am really sick and just I probably sound like a nasally old man. Or Anyways, something. I was watching a video this morning that Sarah Ringer put out and I love her. I'm gonna put all her links below because she was one of the first people I ever we have different illnesses, but she was one of the first people I ever kinda heard of who was sick too, so that's important. But Anyways, she was talking about do you mourn the person that you lost before you got sick or do you celebrate the person you are now? And it just got me thinking about, and I feel like so many people can relate to this because before I got sick, I was like hardcore, type A, perfectionist, awful, so unhappy, didn't like anything about my life and I just kept doing stuff to try to make it better and it wasn't helping and blah blah blah, you know how it goes. And then I got sick and you kind of have to come to terms with the fact that you're never gonna be that person you've been working to be. You're, you're not gonna get there because your life took a totally different turn because life is, life is unpredictable and it's scary and it's hard but I think a lot about that quote, and I cannot, for the life of me, ever remember Who something along the lines of, you've thought the world was ending a million times, and here you are. And I think that it sounds cheesy, but it's so monumental, you know, because when you get sick, it's everything kind of stops for a little bit, but everything keeps going, and by the time you get back into real life or whatever, everything is so far away, it feels like, and you're stuck in this weird little like time warp thing um, and it's hard and it's scary because you learn a lot about yourself and that usually <laughs> is not a fun thing to have to do it's usually not an easy thing to have to do but I was just thinking about it and I was watching her video and I was agreeing with her so much because I feel like I am such a happier person now you know I've learned I've learned how to be alone. I've learned how to how to make myself happy and make my you're own You're constantly happiness. going through the stages of grief. You, you're constantly losing and gaining things and I think it's really easy to get into this mindset where you forget how monumental the little things that you're doing are. How monumental it is that you are still here. This is so hard. It's so hard. And we deal with this every single day. We go to bed every night knowing that we are going to wake up feeling like we got hit and by we keep a truck. doing it and that's so monumental and so many people don't understand the significance of that and i think it's really easy to forget it's really easy to forget all the little victories when you're when you're sick and you're doing this every day and it doesn't and you see other people doing all this stuff and going to college and going to work and stuff that they they see as just normal and um, you can't do that right now and there's nothing wrong with that that's okay you know you're doing your best and it's monumental that you're still here and you're still doing this and you wake up every day and do it again that's that's impressive and I think we need to give ourselves some credit for that because that is hard that is impressive you got out of bed this morning maybe you woke up this morning you maybe took a shower that's hard you brushed your teeth you Maybe did your makeup, you maybe brushed your hair, you maybe made yourself food, whatever you did, that's monumental. Just waking up is monumental and it's it's so hard and people don't really appreciate that because they're they take these things for granted and when you're sick you really learn how to how to appreciate all those little things, you know, being able to put on clean clothes and take a shower and brush your hair and brush your teeth and blah blah blah, all this kind of stuff. And I think it's easy to forget. So, I think if you're watching this and you are sick, disabled, whatever you want to call it, whatever the heck you feel like you are, you should give yourself a pat on the back. Maybe don't because it might hurt, but in your head, you know, just think about it. Because you're hardcore, alright? You're really hardcore. This is hard. It's not fun. And there are, you learn a lot and it's not all bad. Don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, I've learned so many good lessons about this, but even that's really impressive that you can take something good out of this 
this huge hole of crap. You know, if you can take something good out of that, that's even that alone it's is monumental. impressive. It is impressive that you get up every single morning, that you do all this stuff, and you are really hardcore. And I feel like I'm just saying everything again and again, but it's so true and it's so easy to forget. And I've been having such a hard time with reminding myself of all this stuff that it's it's okay to be sad about it. It's okay to be mad about it. You know, you you lost a huge chunk of yourself. You have to that you're you're constantly working to rebuild, but it it gets rebuilt in a completely different way, and that can be a really really good thing and a blessing in disguise. If anybody and turns this into like what's it called, inspiration porn, I'm gonna light you on fire because that's not where I'm going with this. Because it sucks. Okay, there's an. It's not the only disability in life is a bad attitude. No, you're still gonna be sad about it. You're gonna be mad about it. You're gonna punch things and hurt yourself and make yourself feel worse from crying until four in the morning. You're gonna yell at doctors because you're frustrated and don't know what to do. You're gonna yell at people you love and lash out at people you love because you're frustrated and don't know what to do. Um, you're gonna lash out at yourself because you feel like it's your fault because people are constantly telling you, oh, have you tried unicorn tears and dirt from Africa with like lemon on it or something and they make you feel like you're just not trying hard enough you know and you it gets to you after a while and it, anybody who says it doesn't is full of crap it's hard this is hard and the fact that you are still here and you wake up every morning and you do it all again and again and again and you deal with all those people and all those doctors and with your own body every single day is so monumental so seriously give yourself a mental pat on the back for that I don't want anybody to send me a message saying they like dislocated their shoulder trying to pat themselves on the back or something but you know what I mean seriously give yourself some credit where credit is due because credit is due all over the day this, this is really tough being sick it's really tough but you know who else is tough you're tough and I know that's cheesy, but seriously, it does Think not about make it. you a bad person to be sad about it. It's a it's a big life change and it's it's okay. You are allowed to feel whatever the yeah, heck. Yeah, I want. just think it's really important to give ourselves a pat on the back every once in a while cuz people won't always give us a pat on the back cuz they underestimate how hardcore we are. So, yeah, I hope everybody is having a wonderful week and is feeling super wonderful and having a good pain week, good fatigue week, whatever, day, minute, hour, hope it's good. Um, if you ever need somebody to talk to, you can find me on here or Skype, Facebook, Tumblr, whatever, just ask me and I'll tell you what it is and you can contact me. Um, yeah, I'm usually pretty good about getting back to people, so... Yeah, I hope everybody's doing okay, sending you all good vibes and stuff. And that's it. This is really rambly, and I have no idea how I'm going to edit it, but you know what? We're going to wing it. We're, going, we're just going for it. Bye!